Hey Collective, welcome to Collectively Chosen. Thank you so much for your like shares and your subs. Please hit that like button if these messages resonate for you, okay? <clears throat> Thank you all for your love and support. I, I'm going to just get into your reading. Um, I just tried to do your reading a second ago, Collective, and the energy was a bit again conflicting you have somebody around you that you just feel like you kind of can't trust i feel like you're man trying to manifest something here for your in the near future okay give me more okay we have the hermit and the ten of wands some of you could be feeling very isolated right now okay maybe this is something that's a well-needed rest okay um could be dealing with a Virgo. We have a strong Virgo, or you could be a Virgo. All right, give me one on the magician. Clarify the magician. What's crowning the read? Let's see. What's crowning this reading? What's the energy crowning this reading? What's the energy crowning the reading, please and thank you. What's the energy crowning the reading? Energy crowning. Crowning the re oh wow okay the ace of cups some of you all are definitely manifesting new love and you're waiting okay but I feel like you are fulfilling your own needs in this time yeah, yeah. you could feel like that people have been thank you people have been trying to possibly break from you. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarify the Hermit. The King of Wands. Okay. You could have ghosted an uh, Aries Leo Sag. Ten of Wands here. Don't have to be. It's just the energy. Okay. Ace of Swords. And the King of Swords. Somebody wants to tell you some sort of truth. Needs tending. Some of you may need to really get out and date again. Honestly. Some of you may be really... Like you're manifesting offers, but you are also turning them down. Um, but it could be because you don't feel as though they're meeting your standard. Okay, yeah, confident. What I tell you? Yep, and that's what I say, that you don't feel as though they're meeting your standard. We have here, what, standards, okay? Timeless elegance, all right? You are always beautiful to someone who loves you, so. Um, <laughs> I feel like for a lot of you, it's like you want to get back out there, but you, you don't want to get caught up in drama, I feel like you definitely don't want to take anything back from the past, like past offers, because you feel as though you could have definitely moved on from that, all right? Spirit speaks. Seek wisdom and prayer, but also have an open dialogue, okay? Um, and then we have missed chances. Don't have regrets. Cherish the moments that you had together. So some of you, you could be feeling some type of way because something didn't come back together here. Thank you. Something didn't come back together here. Something that you thought that was going to be very promising. Um, you know, you thought that, you know, it was a, a mutual feeling. I feel as though you, you know, you're kind of like giving up on a person or a situation here. Yeah, having a brief affair or a rocky relationship. All right, so you could have realized that, you know, these people that's coming at you small shit, some of them don't come with anything at all. Like, you realize that these people just basically want to have fun. And you're looking for someone who you can be in tune with when it comes to love, right? So, just that Ace of Cups being there, okay? Um, there is a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that want to make you some sort of an offer, all right? This person is getting ready to possibly show up towards you very confident, okay? Very confident, very passionate. Break free from stress and toxic relationships. 
So I feel like if this is someone who, you know, this is all they think about is passion and intimacy and sex and, you know, the intimacy doesn't always include sex. So, you know, oh, I don't know. Hello? And now they see you got the baby right there with you. There's a lot of people in there. Ask to speak to somebody that's the head of the department. The head, ask to speak to the head of the ER. Jazz, I'm in the middle of my uh thing. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about that, y'all. And unfortunately, I'm not in the mood to do any editing. I may have to. Jesus, please. All right. So where are we? Are we? I'm saying where somebody here wants to um, someone wants, may want you all to move in together but I do feel like a lot of you all you are breaking free of you know stressful connections and relate toxic relationships With that golden cage here and then we have unlock happiness be vulnerable and open yourself to real love and then we have strong roots okay friends first setting a foundation some of you this could be same sex for some not for everyone um but i'm definitely saying that i'm not gonna lie to you for some of you i'm saying that somebody could want some sort of like uh poly situation with you okay first blush This here, look, love blooms. Something is going to unfold naturally. I do feel like someone that you've been in separation with is getting ready to have some sort of confidence to come towards you and express how they feel. Okay, fight for love, but choose your battles wisely. Okay, look at it. We have choose wisely again. All right, now we do have uh, both sides, so it's like two sides. You know, it's two sides to a story. Three, honestly. You have your version, their version, and the truth. Um, 
but someone is wanting to make some sort of compromise with you okay um but spirit is saying if some if you are dating a fire sign to definitely consider the long-term issues before you commit to this person okay ten ten yeah before you commit to this person um I do feel like this is something that y'all are definitely going to have to work on and nurture if you definitely want stability in this situation. Okay, but I'm trying to figure out why is this page of pentacles reversed? We have here, hanging on, cleanse the past and let yourself love again. That's what I said. It's like a lot of you all, you're manifesting love. But at the same time, you're not taking any offers. <laughs> Come on, collective. That's not going to work, baby. And a lot of you all are sitting here with some sort of hidden desires that, you know, you want to fulfill. There's someone else or a fantasy that's unfulfilled. The bottom we have divine union use the wings of empathy to bring love and harmony so again there's something about empathy here there's one it's going to cause for you to be a bit uh have some sort of compassion for someone that you may not want to have compassion for yeah look we have distance okay challenges that create space between you And then we have a uh, graceful dance. Lift each other during both high and low times. Okay, so some, but okay, now this is the thing though. Somebody here is definitely burdened and I feel like they need to give you some sort of truth or tell you some sort of truth. But instead of them um, just telling you, I don't know if this person is expecting you to just know that they're going through something. Yeah, look at this, we have protection. Taking care of yourself as well as the relationship, okay? So, you could be just protecting yourself, all right? Focusing kind of like on self-care, okay? Um, hmm. Time heals, okay? Power balance. Having mutual respect and shared uh, responsibility. So, you know, uh, releasing power struggles, yeah, the back and forth. Releasing power struggles, changing your mind, or being confused emotionally. It's something about this person that confuses you. But we have burning bright stroke, stroke passion to keep the flame of love alive. There is a there is a there's a Taurus that is manifesting you. I don't know if you're blocking this person out intentionally. Okay, again, you could be feeling like this person is playing some sort of games here. But let's see. Close by the page the chemical reverse. five of swords what i tell you you don't want to accept because you feel like this person is coming with mind games and drama you could also feel like that this person wants you to compete for them okay five five all right there is a uh i gonna say it's a fool watching but it could be a fool watching that's trying to interfere i'm feeling like an interference here could be an aries on aquarius that's trying to interfere trying to get some sort of information what is this page of swords they want to know something over have you and someone stopped talking have you and someone stopped dating you and someone stop seeing one another or something of that nature okay um hmm ten of wands Ten of Cups. Yeah, something is coming to a serious completion or it already has. Now we have the Knight of Cups. 
Knight of Swords and the hair and the hair. So I feel like somebody could have been coming at you kind of I don't know, trying to express some sort of emotion, Gemini. And you could have blocked this person or blocked this person off or something here. What is the Knight of Cups? We have the Temperance. So I'm feeling like this is some sort of protection here. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Nine of Swords. So some of you could be feeling like that there is something, some sort of finances as well that's being blocked out for you. Or again, like I said earlier, it's, oh, well, that was in the last, like I said, this tried to do y'all reading and I got interrupted. And as you see, I was interrupted again. So I do feel like there is something that's interfering or interrupting you and someone coming together here. King of Wands, there it goes. Some of you could be blocking out a King of Wands. This could be someone that you walked away from. You could have felt as though this person was a little bit on the childish side. Mm. There's a Sagittarius that was sending some sort of like... Uh, this person has some sort of obsession with you. I'm going to really be honest, Collective. This person is having... They have some sort of obsession or infatuation. But it's like some sort of negative energy that they are... It's feeling like spiritual warfare. Okay, um... Yeah, look, as well as this King of Swords. The King of Swords is back here again. So it's the King of Swords as well as a fire sign, possibly. Page of Pentacles, wanting. Yeah, so somebody here is definitely obsessed and wanting to make some sort of amends with you. They think about it all the time, okay? How they can move forward with you. But I really feel like whoever this is, you're not taking their offer. That's just what I'm saying. You don't, whoever this is, you don't trust this person. Now that, that's the message that came out in both of them. Whoever this person is, or these people are, you don't trust them. Somebody here is a little too back and forth for you. It feels like one minute they're very confident, then the next minute they're cold. All right, you don't, yeah, be vulnerable and let your hearts, in, let your two hearts intertwine. Fear, obligation, or guilt makes you stay, get clarity. All right, so make sure if something is weighing you down and it's not bringing you the happiness that you feel as though that you're looking for, the intimacy that you want, Spirit is telling you, I mean, if it's not what you want, you can always have the right to move forward and move away from it. Amid the uncertainty, love has the power to rebuild trust. So then I say something about trust. You don't trust this person. Establish and communicate your own boundaries. What you will and will not tolerate from this person. Long path. Needing to take time out or be on your own for a while. So that's how some of you could just be feeling. Okay. You with the death here. All right. There could be like a. Um, this could be just you going through possibly some sort of dark night of the soul and you know doing some sort of healing work on yourself so that could be that as well um but i do feel like some of you you're definitely whoever this is you don't trust them and i don't feel like you want to give this another shot Give me the death and a fool. So something is also ending between them and someone, I feel like, for some of you. And they could be getting ready to embark on a new beginning. Possibly just like you. All right, yeah, look. Somebody is definitely wanting to keep you a secret. 
All right, you can feel like that someone is, uh, that you got played or someone is trying to play you. Okay, I'm seeing that. All right, and then we have here love story once upon a time. So you and someone, ooh, again, somebody could have found something here expecting new beginnings. Some of you could be getting ready to have a baby for somebody. That's not for everybody. Some of you, somebody here could be pregnant. So if you are about to have a baby with someone and maybe you guys have been on the outs or something happened between you two, okay? Um, I don't know. Somebody could have gotten, uh, oh, wow, we got to check yourself. Do you need to check yourself here? Fulfilling some sort of fantasy. And then somebody here got caught. Police tired of drama. Put him on the show. Somebody's made some sort of bad choices. We have bugaboo, envy. There's a situation that's about to explode. All right, some of you, there's a copycat. Somebody's copying or trying to mimic your energy. What is the Ace of Swords? Somebody here is doing drugs. That's a part of the burden. Okay, they can have a drug problem, which leads to them possibly acting out. Okay, so I feel like you, it's something about somebody here that you just don't trust. Claiming what's yours. Um, yeah, look, lipstick stains. Already knowing the tea. I was gonna say some of you, this person may not think that you know that they have. For some of you, some sort of drug addiction that makes them kind of act out, okay? And we have here burning evidence and divorce. Somebody or something is falling apart. And then we have a hater here. Who's this hater? Running away. Pregnancy test, don't go And we have trash destroyed. Hmm. Somebody could be trying to hide a pregnancy test. Hide the fact that they got pregnant or something. What is it? And then we have this page of swords at the bottom. Look with the seven of swords. So it's like somebody is trying to get away with something. Let me just... Ten of Swords. Yeah, Empress. Ten of Swords. The Lover. I just feel like there's some sort of betrayal here. Let's see. What is this Ten of Swords? Wow, death. Ten of Swords. Love. Crime of passion. Female spouse partner. Somebody married a karmic.
some life insurance. And then we have regret. Accident. I'm feeling this. Mm. Something in a wooded area. You could live in a wooded area. Somebody here could be missing. Okay, could have come up missing at a party. Could have been a boat party. All right, somebody that somebody was dating here. Could have been something on the beach. Abuse and neglect. Accident. Somebody's doing something to try to make something look like an accident. But the whole reason why they did whatever they did was because they were jealous of someone. Oh, wow. Somebody could have did something for an insurance policy as well for money. All right, surveillance. And then we have gift, justice, secret, cover up, clean up. Somebody's trying to clean up something. What is this money? Somebody could be getting paid or trying to pay someone to. Yeah, see, egotism, greed. Then we have secret, abuse and neglect. And then we have gift. Something could be over gold as well. Oh, wow. Somebody can have a fascination with guns. <clears throat> Caregiver. The beach. What about the lunar? Trapped. Fire. Somebody you can live in a beach house. legal proceedings inside so something was an inside job here and then we have male assassination somebody here could uh be trying to set something with someone up There's an empress here who, uh, I don't know if it's, like, people just gossiping about this empress. There's a lot of rumors or something being spread here. In all honesty, there's a lot of rumors or something being spread here. And the crazy part is, this empress is in the upright. You know, if this empress came out in the reverse, then I could say that possibly what is being said or done is justified or is true. But Ten of Swords. Look at that private relationship. 
Yeah, somebody's trying to get something on recording. So again, I don't know if somebody's recording someone's conversations. Okay, that could be a thing as well. Somebody could be recording someone's conversations here. Private relationship. Anyone private relationship. Somebody may have to keep something private because somebody could be going through, yeah, some sort of uh, separation or divorce here. Seven of Swords in the reverse, yeah. And the Nine of Cups. Six of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Magician here again. What is this Seven of Swords? There's some sort of truth that's going to come out about a knight of wands. This could be a younger person. Six of cups from your past that you could have been in a relationship with, okay? I don't know. This person could have left you on the cold. This person could be having some sort of financial issues. Or they did when you was in a connection with them. Yeah, this is somebody who had a hard time managing themselves or their finances. Or that's how they came off. King of Swords, the Star, Chariot, King of Wands. Saying 44, 744 could be significant. What is this? Strength. Okay. So somebody here clearly acts out of their ego. Somebody is very possessive over you. I don't know if this person didn't like the fact. I don't know if you kept them a secret collective or wanted to keep you all's connection private or if that's what this person wanted. I'm not sure. But somebody here, their ego is highly uh, hurt here. Strength card. See the potential. Doors opening. You have many options, so take your time to choose what's right. One last move. You have come so far on your journey. Keep going, and you will soon see what see what you have accomplished. So some of you just need some sort of silence, or you want some sort of silence. Yeah, quiet moments. Robe of unity. Souls of balance. So, yeah, you need... Okay, <laughs> collective. Adapt to transformation, yeah. Embrace change with open arms, for it is the catalyst for your evolution and growth. Um, I'm seeing where you could be... And I hate to say it this way, thank you, but that was confirmation. You could be a bit of a hard ass right now, uh, collective. Um, you're manifesting love in, I don't want to make this longer than what it needs to be. You're manifesting love in, it could be something from the past that's holding you back, or um, maybe this is for some of you, could be a current energy, but whatever it is, it's holding you back from you being able to get yourself back out there. Um, yeah, you know, with the four pentagons, <laughs> it's holding you back from you kind of like getting yourself back out there. Um, you have someone here who I feel like, uh, I don't know, some of you, you could be focused on saving up for a home or your person that you're dealing with. They could be saving up some sort of money for 
uh, a new home, um, this person, this is something that I feel like at some point in time, you know, if things were to have panned out properly for you all, y'all could have done together or would be doing together sometime in the near future or something of that nature. But I do see that somebody here is getting out of some sort of connection here. Um... Yeah, somebody here is getting out of some sort of connection. And right now, they just may be burdened. But I feel like whoever... There's a couple of people here, I do feel like. But I feel like, you know... These are folks you don't want to make... You don't want to mend any... You don't want to mend fences with these people. Um, as well as, like I said, if you are calling in new love. Because I do feel like you have people who want a renewal of love with you as well. Okay? 3555, five, five, as I said that. Um, you have people who want a renewal of love. Um, they're burdened because for some of you, these people know that they have to come in and tell you some sort of truth. As well as they're going to have to put in some sort of effort, okay? Like, they're not going to be able to come towards you slacking in any way, shape, or form. But you can't manifest uh, love and connection and relationships. Look at this here again. <laughs> I'm not picking with y'all. I'm serious today. Okay, somebody wanting to block this reconciliation with some sort of lies here. It's just what I'm seeing as well. So you do have, you know, outside influences, people who could be possibly trying to get in the way of you and your person coming back together um, or something reconciling here. Okay, something starting out maybe as a friendship and then building more into love. But I'm seeing this is not this is not common. Okay, we have the lovers here. This is something like a soulmate. Some of you, you may be... Um, like I say, I don't know. For some of you, it's a third-party situation. <sighs> Somebody lover could have a friend pregnant. I don't know. Look, I don't. <laughs> that could be the, uh, the uh, part of the truth as well. Why maybe you don't want to um, reconcile with this person? This person could have gotten a friend of yours or uh, someone that you know pregnant. Yeah. Four of Cups. And that's the truth. It's like you're rejecting. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. There's a King of Wands that's going to reach out to you. And then we have the Hermit. This is someone that you have not been talking to for some time. Knight of Cups, they're going to come back to you with some sort of apology as well. Possibly some sort of uh, token. I just heard a token of their affection. They want to apologize for hurting you. Somebody wants to definitely apologize for hurting you, but you don't trust this person. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> I don't know what to tell them. We got the fool. Somebody do need to block out an Aquarius. Somebody could be concerned about their public image as well. Yeah. Oracle to close this reading out. All talk. Silver tongue devil. Big flirt. No action. A player. See, that's the energy that I was getting. That's what I don't feel like you trust this person. All right. Um. Crumbling. What you've built feel like it's falling apart. It's okay. You have the strength to build anew. Yeah, we have gold diggers. Some of you, this, somebody could have been around you as well, just for your money, your finances. A deadly combo, dangerous one together, triggering, explosive. Now, somebody here, y'all could like to play with guns and shit. Okay, look. Ain't nobody got time for that craziness. Yeah, facing it. You know something isn't right. Don't be afraid to find out the truth. It will set you free. So, I don't know. Some of you, you could be feeling like you're dealing with someone who's a bit dangerous on the dangerous side. Or they live dangerously. Um, I'm hearing that song. You're living dangerously. I think that's Barrington, Levy. I think that's Barrington, Levy. You're living dangerously. Yeah, somebody here is living a very dangerous life. 
late bloomer, age gap, or immature attitude. I don't think, and I tell you, needs more time. And then we have empty. The truth is that you simply don't feel fulfilled. It's worth the wait to find true happiness. So, if this is not what you want, okay? Um, cuts both ways. Good in aspects. Mis mixed blessing division. Hmm. There could be some unexpressed emotions. Someone has to be the adult in the room. The term should be grow up or get up. I mean, grow up or get out. Starting over, ending it, and moving on. Trying again. The ex is back. I'm talking. Oh. Yeah, this ex. Some of you, you have an ex that's coming back. Um, but, yeah, trouble follows them around. Tempting, addictive charm. So, this is someone that can constantly just find themselves into shit. Like... I don't mean no harm. Uh, <laughs> confirmation. I don't mean no harm, collective. Uh, this person living a dangerous life, baby. Don't put yourself out there in the middle of no shenanigans. We have natural disaster. Power supply. I mean, what is this deadly? Trapped. Does somebody have their dog caged? Don't put your... Don't put that dog in no cage for long periods of time. What the hell? We have lies and celebrity. There's a... Okay. Let me use a celebrity. That's trying to possibly manipulate something here. Somebody is manifesting some sort of, yeah, somebody here is jealous of someone gifts. This took a turn. Out of space, love, cover up, clean up. only for a select I feel like this is a specific message um somebody here is uh I don't believe that they're down low I believe more so they are more so like uh they just they keep that aspect of their life private but I feel like there is a, a masculine who has a crush on another masculine, okay? But they know that whatever this is, it will not be reciprocated. Like, somebody knows that something would not be reciprocated here. So something going on with a cult here. Regret, water, burial, death. Oh. Burial, death, intuition. There's some sort of cult here. Now we have homicide, accident. So something could have been a homicide, but somebody's trying to make it look like it's an accident, but somebody's intuition is telling them different. This could be something like a crime of passion. Be mindful of any gifts you take from anybody right now, too. Yeah, look, crime of passion lies. Yeah. Simulation, that. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I should have used this day. Because what I'm seeing, somebody may hear some sort of, uh, somebody may hear some sort of body being found. Alright, it could be a cult here. Somebody's going to find a thank you confirmation. Alright, so there could be some sort of cult here that there will be a body found in a landfill. Um, but there will be body parts, like somebody here was dismembered. Okay, um, what the frick is with that? Ooh. Should the collective trust this connection and this person? I don't see it. Nope, spirit say stay in your ground. Keep setting those boundaries as long as uh that's crazy. <laughs> against the confusion. Especially if you're dealing with a Taurus or an Aquarius here. Yeah, someone in here is trying to be strategic. Trying to figure out or trying to find out some sort of way to hang on or hold on to you. Or slow walk you into some sort of commitment, relationship. Somebody here could have broke a date as well. Yeah. Feel like somebody's definitely getting the confidence to come towards you to try to mend something here. They want you to know that, ooh, somebody's drinking. Somebody drinks. Somebody definitely trying to fight off some any other options coming towards you. Okay, this person could get a lot of attention or you could get a lot of attention. All right, take it how it resonates. Let's see here. I'm going to get a couple of these. A couple of these. I'll never forget what you said. I can't forgive myself for what I did. Somebody here, you can't forget them because somebody, or somebody, that ain't for everybody, could have definitely committed a crime against someone that you care about or you love. Um, I didn't think we would stay separated this long. You changed. Sometimes I wonder if you're happier without me. Our last conversation together plays on repeat in my mind. My friends encouraged me to stay single. I put on a tough exterior. Sometimes I just wish I could let it all out. We never got closure. So, I want to come forward and apologize soon. I've gained clarity on this situation now. Be honest, we both have flaws, but I think we can work on them together. I've tried to move on with someone else, but it just wasn't the same. What they got to do with you, Collect? <laughs> okay, Collect said, what they got to do with me, child? Yeah, there's something else I've been dealing with. Somebody tried to date other people, but they don't feel that same spark that you and them had. I don't mean to lead you on. I'm just not sure where this is headed yet, so... Again, some of you, you just have someone who's just a little too back and forth for your taste. 
But that's what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and go so I can take this later.